um, in today's video I'm going to share with you uh, five deadly mistakes you're making when it comes to first impression that may be killing your success right now. Pay close attention. Okay, <laughs> let me just break out that state. Insider, this is an area of my life I struggle with so much. You may know my background is I've been shy and introverted for as long as I can remember ever since school days because of my bullying that I experienced. And so a lot of the things I've learned today, you know, traveling around the world, speaking on global stages, I've learned from mentors and I've gone through the transformation I've gone through. And these five mistakes I was making in terms of first impression was holding me back for many, many years. And that's why I want you to pay close attention because this will be the big leverage you need to get yourself onto that next level. Without further ado, let's go on to the first bad first impression mistake, which is being stuck in your head and not being present with a person in front of you. And you would have noticed the times you've ever found somebody to be a little bit rude or abrupt or you found that person a little bit annoying is because that person was stuck in the head, right? That person wasn't present. That person was distracted. And that's why you made an assumption. Maybe they don't like you or maybe you don't like them. And so this is how important it is. And I tell you, it becomes even more important if you wanna learn how to become a speaker. I've spoken on global stages with people from all different backgrounds. So imagine speaking in front of hundreds of people with different models of the world. You've only got a couple seconds to make a great first impression. Otherwise, they're not gonna to listen to you for the rest of the hour. And I tell you, every time I'm stuck in my head thinking what I'm gonna say, those tend to be the speeches where people are falling asleep or literally walking out the room. But every time I'm focusing on the audience, the people I'm serving, the people I'm communicating with and listening and really speaking from the heart, that's when you can feel the connection with that individual. Have you ever reached flow with somebody where time is flying on by like that? It's because you were present. So be present with the person in front of you. The second bad mistake is poor grooming sense as well as dress style. There's no denying, like it or not, we live in a judgmental world. The fastest way for you to influence the fact that human beings judge each other based upon appearance is to actually look after your appearance. Little goes long way. So go Google dress styles for your particular industry or maybe just read some magazines to do a fashion. It doesn't mean you have to become the next, I don't know, the top model or whatever it may be. It just means just make a little effort. It shows to the other person that you care about them. It shows the other person that you respect them because there's nothing worse than just rocking up, looking at you just drag yourself out of bed. Just make a little bit of effort. It goes a long way. The third bad mistake is being too needy. And I used to be super guilty of this, when, especially when I was bad with dating women. I used to tell every girl I fancied and found attractive, I really loved them. And the more, the more I said that, the more they ran the other way, right? And I'm just scratching my head thinking, why are they running? <laughs> but it's because human beings, the way we are, we always want what we can't have. And we always chase what's running away from us. Isn't that true? And I'm sure you would agree that there have been times in your life where you come across very needy people. They're so needy, they want everything from you. So what does that make you wanna do? No thanks, right? So don't be one of those people. Abundance mindset is the key. If you ever look at who tends to get the best network around them at a networking party, circling them and so forth, or who tends to have the best, most positive impression in front of everybody, is those with an abundance mindset. In fact, my dating coach always used to say to me, Tim, you have got to always come from this mindset that I want you, but I don't need you. And what he was trying to teach me was the concept of having that abundance mindset where you realize if you are gonna cling on to somebody, it is not only creepy, right? It just makes that other person not want to be around you. So don't be a clinger. Don't give off that vibe you really need somebody because there's nothing worse than coming across somebody with that scarcity energy. It is a habit that you need to stop. The fourth bad mistake is talking too much. 
Let me ask you, have you ever met somebody before who talk, 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 keeps on saying about how amazing they are, how amazing their house is, how amazing their job is, how just talk about everything about themselves and they never allow you to talk. The moment they actually ask you a question, you're, you're like, thank goodness, right? But then the moment you reply back one thing like, I went to Spain last year, they're like, oh my God, I went to Spain as well. And they talk for about a freaking hour. How do you feel at the end of that conversation? Yes, you feel like they've literally sprayed the jet into your freaking face, right? Don't be one of those people. You gotta play it like a ping pong game, right? That's coming from an Asian. We, we should know a thing or two about this, right? <laughs> ping pong game. So what does that mean? So once one person hits the ball, the other person needs to hit the ball. The conversation needs to go like this. And you gotta get great at listening. Listening to understand, not listening to respond. And you gotta make sure that you ask quality questions. You show that you're intrigued. Show a bit of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, it's free. Right, enthusiasm doesn't cost anything and yet it costs everything. Think about the times you found people really receptive. Think about the times you really liked somebody. You like their influence, it's because they're enthusiastic. Isn't that true? Because I could be just sat here right now like a freaking lecturer and just kind of just say, yeah, this is really cool, bad impressions, you know. You gotta avoid this and you'll probably be falling asleep thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna tune off this freaking channel, right? <laughs> Enthusiasm goes a long way. Show that you intrigued, show that you truly care, because they matter. They're a human being and they wanna feel understood. Now let's go on to the final bad mistake, which is poor posture, fake smile, and weak eye contact. You would have noticed at the start of this video, I was looking away from the camera whilst talking to you. How did that make you feel? Think about the last time you were talking to somebody and they were doing that. You don't feel that connection at the same time, when somebody's got a poor posture as well, it doesn't show that you're certain about yourself. So my suggestion is to read some books on body language if it helps, or go search more videos on body language. But you've got to make sure you have a nice, comfortable posture. You show that you're certain in yourself. At the same time, have a genuine smile. What does that mean? It means not to do this. Yeah, hey, I'm so happy to meet you. <laughs> right? <laughs> A genuine smile is just making sure that you are smiling from the eyes and you can tell when somebody's fake, right? And so how do you give a genuine sort of vibe? It's by being genuine, right? It's by actually caring about the other person. Naturally, if you really care about that person and you're so intrigued about that person, your subconscious and your conscious mind will help you to reflect the non-verbal and verbal to that person to show that you actually care, because you do. So show that bit of caring, show that bit of empathy, show that you really want them to be in front of you right now, and not so much you're so busy that you want them to be gone. You've got to make sure you're coming from the right place. That's what it's all about. So these are the five bad first impression mistakes that you need to avoid at all costs. Let me know in the comments box below what's been your biggest takeaway today that you're going to now implement to ensure it doesn't happen. Let me know and I'll be sure to get back to you. And like this video inside if you like this video today and share this video with a friend or a loved one who's got to hear this message as happiness is only real when it's shared. Isn't that true? Life is about paying forward. So just think about one person right now who would benefit from this video and simply drop them this link and that way they'll benefit as well. Through ripples of contribution, we'll change the world together. Thank you so much for tuning in and as always, Insider, follow your heart, my friend, and take action. And let's go change the world together.